Morning, Escalante. Hope you're having a great crew. Um, it's Mr. Lennox here. Sorry I can't be there in person. Um, I'd love to be there right now doing this, but um, Zoom's what we got. So um, I just wanted to do a crew lesson with you all to talk a little bit about your brains um, and what states you're in. And I know a lot of you, especially eighth graders, have heard like the fight, flight, freeze, and flipping your lid and all that. Um, but what we're going to learn about today is a little more in depth and has a little bit more to do with how you're doing each day in that moment, as opposed to just when your lid's flipped and you're, you're really angry or really stressed out and can't think. Um, so I'm going to talk real quick and then I'm going to share my screen and share some slides and then your teachers are going to kind of go through a crew lesson um, for today and tomorrow probably. Um, so yeah, well, th these are called the brain states that I'm going to talk about. There's five of them. We all experience them. All humans do. Um, so your teachers, your parents, your grandparents, you, your baby sister, all go through these brain states um, every day, every every week, every month, every year, right? And then it all, the things that affect it could be like interactions with other people, it could be stress, it could be uh, sad things that happen, it could be like a test or like anything that happens in your life can affect the state of your brain. Um, and right now at your age, um, <clears throat> as middle school students, sometimes it's hard to access parts of your brain based on the brain state that you're in. So if you're in a brain state where you're really angry, you're really upset, you might not be able to calm yourself down without the help of somebody around you. Um, and that happens to adults too. Um, so that's why I think learning about these things is super important. The first thing to know is that your brain is still growing. Um, the adult in your room, their brain has probably stopped growing. So we're like, we're topped out. You guys are still building your brain. Um, and the brain um, grows from the bottom up and the inside out. So the bottom things that are getting built in your, when you're in your mom's stomach are the most basic things, like when your, your heart's beating and you're breathing, those things are what your brain controls, then all the way up to the top of your brain, which is here on your forehead, the PFC, um, and that is like controls like your thinking and your, your ability to like reason and like um, your personality and things like that. Um, so as your brain's building, um, you get you gain different skills and sometimes if things happen in your life at certain part um, like younger in your life or older in your life that affect your brain you might need to go backwards and uh, kind of repair those parts of your brain through different activities so that you can continue to access the upper parts of your brain um, so I know it's complicated and if you don't understand exactly what I talked about that's okay I just wanted to give you a little bit of background um, and then now I'm just going to talk about the brain states um, so you guys know the five different brain states and can kind of um, have that language um, so you understand that. So I'm going to share my screen real quick. Um, maybe. Here we go. Okay, so like I said, there's five brain states and we kind of say that the states become traits because depending on the state that you're in, you might display different traits as a person. Um, so the first state um, that people experience is called calm. Um, and then below it, I kind of have some examples of what it might look like in the classroom. Um, so if you're in your calm state, um, you're able to sit and learn in class, like that's easy. You're pretty calm, you don't have too much energy, um, but you're awake. Um, you can understand new information and you can think clearly. So if, if um, one of your teachers is explaining something or if I'm explaining it right now and you're in your calm state, you can like take in the information and understand it like your brain isn't scattered. Um, your heart rate, because your brain controls your heart rate, um, is either lower than normal or just right at a normal rate. So your, your heart's not pounding super fast. It's just beating at a normal, st um, normal rate. Um, in this calm brain state, you can make complex and reasonable decisions, right? So like if you have something happen with a friend or if a teacher comes up and asks you to do something, you're able to respond in a way that you want to, not in a way that maybe you're reacting and saying something that you're not thinking about. Um, and the last one is that you can um, discuss conflict calmly. So again, like with friends or with teachers or with parents, um, and again, this is adults too. So if I'm in my brain, calm brain state and I'm talking to a student or another teacher, um, I'm talking like I am now calm and I'm saying the things that I want to say as opposed to things that might pop out without me thinking. So that's the first one. That's the calm brain state. Um, next one is alert. Um, and so what alert looks like um, for people or students um, is that you're actively learning or paying attention. So maybe you're learning about something in class and you're like in your brain, you're thinking about different connections, like you're still paying attention, but you're also thinking about other things that relate to that subject. The alert state is probably the, uh, like the most efficient brain state to be in in class because you're paying attention and you're also a little bit more energized. Um, 
So the second one, again, your thoughts and, and your brain are active. Like you're really paying attention and you're think, making connections inside your brain, not just kind of sitting there and letting it come in. Um, you're energized, but you're able to use it appropriately. So you have energy, but you're not bouncing around the class. You're not talking to your friends. You're focused on what's happening, but you have the energy to stay engaged. Um, you want to be around other people. So like you want to be talking with your friends. You want to be talking in class with your partners. You want to be interacting with teachers, um, that kind of thing. Um, and the last thing for alert that I thought was interesting is that you can think and process things that are happening in the moment and into the future. So you can think about what's happening in class or what's happening at home and you'd be like, okay, like tomorrow I'm going to do this and make a plan for that. Um, so you can kind of think a little bit further down the road. The third state is the alarm state. So maybe you're like sensing a little pressure or some stress or like something happened at home or you argued with somebody and you're feeling a little bit tense. Um, so what it can look like in a student um, or a teacher is that learning and paying attention is hard. Like you really have to try to focus on what's happening and sometimes you're only able to do it for a few minutes or like a few seconds even. Um, you might feel crank cranky or easily stressed. So you might like, like on edge, right? You might think like if somebody says one more thing to me, I'm just gonna like lose it on them. Um, people get on your nerves. I know it, like we, we talk about that a lot at middle school, like everybody's annoying me. So that might be something you're thinking of, like you just like, you wanna be by yourself. You don't want anybody to talk to you. Um, you might act out or get in trouble in class or like as an adult, you might just get in arguments with your uh, people you work with. Um, when you're in the alarm brain state, you're lower in your brain, so like lower down um, and you can't access that front of your brain. Um, so you can only actually think hours or minutes into the future. So you're not able, if somebody's like, hey, tomorrow, if you do this, I'm gonna, um, whatever, give, give you a reward or something, you're like, you're not able to think that far and that doesn't even matter to you, right? Like you're in the moment. Um, in the alarm state, you might be a little more emotional. So you might be easier to make angry or cry or be stressed and those kind of things. And when you're in that lower brain state, like adults included, so whichever, whoever your crew teacher is right now, if they're in their alarm state, they're thinking more like an eight-year-old, right? So like, even if they're a 35-year-old adult, if you're in that alarm and you're really stressed, you're only thinking like an eight-year-old. So in order to calm yourself down and think like the age that you are, you need to get into that um, alert and calm phase by you know, doing something that makes you calm down, whether that's sports or music or drawing or just taking a break or whatever that is. Um, so the, the alarm state is kind of like the next level up and you're moving up into your brain where you're getting a little more escalated and a little more unable to control your um, thoughts and um, behaviors. The fourth one is fear. Um, so that we talk about that when your lid flips. So this is kind of like that. Um, you might react to something without thinking. So words might come out of your mouth or you might have like body movements that you didn't even process before they're happening. So it might be like blurting something out in class or if a teacher asks you to do something, you say something that you don't really mean, but it just pops out before you even think about it. And that's just because you're in this part of your brain and need to get up in your brain. So you need to calm yourself down or help somebody needs to help you calm down so that you can think the way you want. Um, learning is almost impossible or very hard in class when you're in your fear state. Um, you will might get an increased conflict with students or adults. So you might fight with people, you might wanna actually get in a physical fight or you might just wanna argue. Um, when you're in your fear state, your heart rate is up. So like, it's like, pretend like you were running a race or something, like your heart rate is beating faster, you get sweaty, you might get hot, so that's a feeling you might feel and your thoughts are just all jumbled because your brain's kind of going all over the place. Um, and your IQ actually drops, same with adults. So if an adult's in their fear state, their IQ is that of a one or a three-year-old. And that's just because of where their thoughts are in their brain. They're more like down, like when a one or three-year-old is, is around. And you might see students in class or like adults like acting like a one or three-year-old. And that might be because they're in their fear state. Um, so if you're in fear, you need like that's when people need to help you do things to calm down so a teacher might ask you to go take a walk in the hall or do a lap outside and that's not because you're in trouble or they're like think that there's something wrong with you they just know that if you're in that spot you're not going to be able to learn in class and you're not going to be able to um, interact with others the way you want to the last one is terror and that's like when you're like down in your brain stem like down like the reptile brain right um so you might be aggressive or have reckless behavior and not even know you're doing it and you're not in control of it because you're not able to think up in your brain like you need to. Your heart rate is racing. It's like when you're really angry or really upset and you feel your heart rate be beating super hard, one way to calm yourself down is to just like notice it, be like, whoa, my heart rate is pounding. I need to calm my heart down and just like breathe so I can go down in my brain states.
when you're in your terror state, you have zero concept of time. So I bet you can think of a time when you were really angry, like at home or at school or wherever. And like all of a sudden, like time goes by really fast or like time goes by super slow. It's because your brain's not able to make those connections. Your IQ goes all the way down like of a newborn, like you're a baby. And like, again, this happens to adults. Like adults just react like kids sometimes. And that's because they're in their terror state. Um, you have no concept of rules or behaviors. So even if you know what you need to do in class or what you need to do at home, you're just not able to do it because those things aren't even coming through your head. Um, some people, rather than like being like tons of energy and out of control, they just go into full shutdown and they might just like be sitting there staring at the wall and just like deer in the headlights, like not able to think and they're just like frozen. Um, and they might not be talking and not responding. So if you're in your terror and fear state, those are times when you need other people to help you calm down because you're not able to use the part of the brain that helps you calm down. Um, so yeah, those are the five main brain states that all humans go through. And I'll go through them again one more time. Um, it's calm, alert, alarm, fear, and terror. Um, so when I stop this video, your teachers are gonna lead you through the next part of your crew lesson. And you're, I'm also gonna, I shared with you all a short student survey. And one of the questions is gonna ask you about what brain state you're in right now. It'll probably be tomorrow that you take it. So when you're taking that survey, it's gonna ask you if you're in your calm, alert, alarm, fear, or terror stage. And you can just mark that anonymous survey. We're just interested to see where students are because like the stress of COVID or the stress of school or like having tons of work, like all those things play into what state you're in. And we just wanna know where people are at so we know how to help. Um, and this is something we talked about with all the teachers as well. So all the teachers took the same thing and we asked the same question, like what brain state are you in? Because adults need help when they're in terror too, to calm down. Um, Thanks for listening, everybody. Again, I wish I could be there in person with you all, but hopefully this makes sense. Um, and I'll be back probably next week or the week after with another video and some more info. So, kaka, eagle on, uh, work hard, be kind. Thanks, everybody.